Hello and good morning. Today I'm doing a view, <coughs> review on three of uh, Kerrygold's cheeses. I love Kerrygold. I am a huge fan of Kerrygold. Wow. Found out about it maybe t five, six years ago. I was couch surfing of all things and the lady that was hosting me her name's charlotte she told me about grass-fed uh cows butter from grass-fed cows and the health benefits and whatnot and i went to the went to the store after i got home from that trip uh picked up some Kerrygold. i was like all right i'll give it a shot and it was tasted like butter at first and then like as I was going through the package I started to notice wait a minute there's something different about this like it tastes really good and the more I tried it ever since then I've been a fan the more I tried it the more I liked it and the more I appreciated its flavor uh, it has um, maybe a sweeter quality than other butters and here's the thing I've tried a whole bunch of other butters I've tried um, Lando Lakes uh, Buffalo butter from Trader Joe's other kinds of grass-fed butter this this video is about cheese not butter but it's I guess this is an intro to how I started with this cheese Anyways, I'm a Kerrygold butter for life person now, and I hope they never go out of business or change their recipe. Um, let's see here. So this this Kerrygold is, I don't know why it's so good. It's grass-fed cows from Ireland, if you didn't know. Sorry, let me just readjust. There we go. Pardon the, uh, all the shaking. And one day, I was in the grocery store and, and I saw this. Kerrygold Cheddar Reserve. Reserve Cheddar. 100% natural cheese, grass-fed cows from Ireland. Um... Aged over two years, it says it's a it's a seven ounce chunk of cheese here, square of cheese. This is um, ingredients is cheese, uh, pasteurized milk, salt, cheese cultures, and enzymes. Product of Ireland, packed for or Newa Foods, North America. Incorporated in Evanston, Illinois. Uh, okay. I tried this cheese uh, maybe two or three years ago for the first time and it was good. I didn't really think it was um, terribly different. A whole lot different from... Why is it so dark? Can we adjust brightness here a bit? Okay, and um, it was good. Same thing with these guys. Uh, this one's the... Uh, um, I mean, these came later on. For a long time, this was the only one I could find in any store. And and now uh, I, I discovered Winco. Hello, Winco. <laughs> I'm not sponsored. I just, I just love it. Winco is like a... Think of a, a, a Walmart that's a little bit better mm, not really better it's it's more specialized it's more about food than like the home goods and the and the produce well no they have produce and they don't have home goods it's more like it's like a Walmart meets Costco I just like it it's like a grocery store warehouse yeah that's kind of like what it is yeah yeah What's this? This is aged cheddar. This is reserved cheddar. This is aged cheddar, which is same ingredients. 
aged for 12 months. So this is about half the age. And then there's the Dubliner. This is aged cheese with a distinct taste and natural hint of sweetness. Funny enough, um, hold on. Now, I don't know how these cheeses come out differently because, and, and they do taste slightly different. They all taste kind of like cheddar. Uh, my favorite is the Dubliner. Dubliner is my favorite. I, I probably should have started with that. So my one cheese for the rest of my life is this. My, this is my go-to. And then if this is not available, anything carry gold. These two taste kind of the same to me. I, um, I, I probably prefer this one. This one's a little too sweet. If you like sweet, go for it. Try it out, you know, what not. I'm not telling you what to do with your taste buds. Um, they're all good. I would eat any of these any day. If, if I had to pick one for the rest of my life, Dubliner. Dubliner wins. That's all I wanted to say. Hey, actually, one more thing I wanted to say. Now, before I started making this video, this particular video, I got this feeling inside, oh, I don't want to do it. And I talked about this on my last video very briefly. Sometimes I get that feeling, you know, like, oh, and, and here's, I get that feeling like I should make a video about this. And then the next, if I wait too long, the, the sort of the other feeling that comes next is, um, no, maybe I'll do it next time. Let's just do it next time because right now I'm busy doing nothing much. Right now, I'm busy thinking. I'm busy thinking right now. Ah. And then I looked at these packages and I was like, how long have I been looking at these packages? Honestly, probably over a month, maybe over two. Like, especially this one. I don't remember when I got it, but it's been over a month for sure. I've been using it as a as a coaster. It's a great coaster. <laughs> and then these two I got kind of recently, within the last month. And I was like, I need to make a video all about which one I prefer. Um, I can't really tell you much else about these guys. It's it's they all taste like cheddar to me. And then they have varying levels of sweetness. The Dubliner taste the least sweet and then the reserve and then the aged this is the most sweet this is the least and then the reserves in the middle um, sometimes um, making a decision to uh, to act uh, just needs to happen you just need to start and I'm talking to myself here, most of all, um, because I talk myself out of things. I feel like, oh yeah, doing a review like this would be a great idea. And then if I hesitate for more than maybe five seconds, the uh, justifications, the reasons for not to, the excuses for not to start coming in and I say, okay, I'll do it later. It's not so urgent after all. But it's up to me to place this idea uh, on a on a higher priority than thinking. Just thinking about it, I can either just think about it or I can just jump into it and think about it as I go, or jump into it and then think about it later. The more I hesitate the less motivation I have to actually start the video. So 
that's the reason why this video uh, is is the way it is like I'm not dressed up or anything this is just how I look I got my home scarf on my home jacket on it's cold in the house and my and my favorite beanie this is made of uh, black sheep because <laughs> I'm a black sheep Bleh. Mm, that's my sheep impression. Bah. No, actually, this is cashmere. I think cashmere is wool. Um, it came my way. I didn't have to go buy it. And this is cashmere, as we know, is natural fiber. So I love it. Thank you, universe, for bringing this my way. Only thing is it keeps shrinking in the wash. So I have to take it halfway out of the dryer and like stretch it a little bit like pizza dough and then put it on and then it fits. I can't let it dry all the way because if I do then it's too small anyways and then it's too tight on my head. Um, in fact it used to be a lot a lot looser than this. Uh, anyways what was I talking about? this video I didn't feel like doing it um, forgive me for uh, jumping around so much but again so th here's another reason why I didn't want to do it I don't like to edit as you may have noticed none of my videos are edited it's just one take here's what you get piece of my life um, real time uh, yeah all the justifications I just have to put those on pause and show up. Um, I have to kind of like push myself out of the uh, the the airplane and just free fall. A lot like skydiving, actually. I've always wanted to skydive. Have you? Um, I don't know if I actually said what I wanted to say. I think I did just now. Sometimes you just gotta shove. I just have to shove myself out the door and free fall. And here's what it, here's what came out. Uh, again, top pick for care. I think I saw one more the other day. I went to another store, not Winco. It was like this local um, specialty grocery store. Not a whole bunch of them around here. It's called Thriftway. They have the best garlic salsa, house-made. Uh, mostly natural ingredients, so, and it tastes the bomb. I don't know how regularly I would get it. Oh, and then the price is on point. It's only three bucks. Most of the times these special salsas are like five bucks and above, even at Winco. Anyways, they had a fourth cheese that I hadn't seen before and I almost picked it up but the price tag wasn't there, so I just left it. And my main mission was to get that salsa. It seems like I really like talking to you guys, and it seems like it's already been 13 minutes. It seems like, um, yeah, like once I'm, once I'm free falling, once I'm here, I love it. It's just a matter of, I think it's just a matter of starting. Just that, just that, Initial it's not even a push. It's like a nudge. It's like it's a nudge Just you know like get out there Start the momentum Once the momentum starts It's gonna work out Nothing to fear fear is all in the head and all the justifications um, For not doing it uh, As valid as they may be Stick to the plan, man. It's all, it's gonna be fine. Stick to the plan. Stick, S-T-T-P. Stick to the plan. Or even S-T-P. Stick to the plan. Here's me sticking to the plan. Dubliner, top choice. Um, number one forever go-to cheese. I love you, Talk.